What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm doing a little pack with me, day in my life, trip prepping type video. I haven't filmed one of these since August since I went to Costa Rica and I'm actually headed to Puerto Rico tomorrow night and I have like a little story time about how that all came to be because it's like slightly insane and it makes me look slightly crazy but also you're only young and fun and dumb i'm not dumb but like you know what i mean you're like you're only young and fun once and while i have a limited amount of responsibilities i might as well take advantage of every opportunity that's given to me so i'm headed to puerto rico tomorrow night at like 8 p.m i think our flight boards at 7 20 or something of that sort and then we get into puerto rico at 12 55 a.m we're staying in a hotel and then after the hotel that one night we're staying in an airbnb for the entire week i'm gonna basically um recap how this all came to be this crazy little story time of mine so last weekend on sunday i was just laying in bed thinking about how overwhelmed i am about like the city right now and things going on in my life and how i could just really use a break from everything don't get me wrong i love the city and it holds a special place in my heart but every now and then you just need a break from the city and if you live here or you've been here or you've stayed here for a long period of time i feel like you kind of get what i'm saying it's just the city can be a lot sometimes it's getting a little bit more chaotic lately there's a lot more crime happening there's a lot more issues with the homeless people happening which makes my heart hurt but it's also a little bit scary with everything that's happening right now not to mention that it is like 10 degrees outside every single day right now so it's just brutally cold you don't want to leave your apartment you don't want to do much and it's just not the best time of the year <laughs> to be in the city but if you sign up to live in the city this is kind of what you pay for it's just it is what it is sunday i was texting my boyfriend i was in my apartment laying down in bed and i was just literally so exhausted and i was joking around being like hello well, like i could really use a break from the city and he was like no same and then we both were kind of like what if we took a break from the city and so that led us to skyscanner which if you guys have never been on skyscanner it's basically a free website that shows you a bunch of cheap flights to anywhere in the world us europe asia central america south america Whole bunch of different places i would highly recommend using it i've been using it since uh my abroad days in college and it's like my favorite app to use ever it basically pulls up every airline that ever exists and every travel website to ever exist to give you the best flight deals my favorite part about skyscanner is that you can literally type in the dates that you want to go somewhere and then you can click everywhere as a destination and it'll show you a list of places that you can go to in literally the entire world for like the best price that you could get it at so for example if we wanted to stay in the united states and i wanted to go to chicago for a week i think i could literally have bought like a 50 dollars round trip ticket but we weren't trying to go to chicago because we wanted to go somewhere warm so we were looking at the list of things to do and my boyfriend and i both really love puerto rico uh, it's just such a peaceful place and it's warm in the winter which is the key to success here and we've both been there before and we just we know about it so we decided that that was the place that we wanted to go to. We could get like a really good cheap deal based off of Skyscanner, based off of our United credit card. That's also another tip is that if you travel a lot, you should buy a credit card that gives you airline points. So my credit card is hooked up to United. So every time I purchase something, I get points for United flights. So basically my flight to Puerto Rico was entirely free because of the fact that I have so many points with United. So another hack, but found the flight originally from Skyscanner and just found out that flights to Puerto Rico for the upcoming days were really cheap through United. So that's what clicked in our head. So we decided Sunday night that we were going to fly to Puerto Rico this week. Now, originally our flight was supposed to leave. We were going to leave Wednesday night after work and stay until next Tuesday so I would have literally already been in Puerto Rico right now but the times were really weird for the flight so the Wednesday flight would have had us leaving here at 8 p.m. getting in at 12 55 a.m. which is the same as their flight for fr this Friday like the one we changed it to but 
it's just the fact that it was on a Wednesday and we had work the next day kind of stressed us out. And then our return flight was going to be at like 2 a.m. or something like that on a Tuesday, getting in at 5 a.m. And then we would have had to work the whole day and it was just going to be such a pain in the butt. So after booking that ticket, we kind of sat on it for a little bit and we were like, I don't think that this is like the best situation to put ourselves in. And we'd rather spend a little bit more money on a flight to get in at good times and on the weekend and stuff like that so we switched our flight right from wednesday to tuesday to friday to next saturday so i'll be in puerto rico for eight nights seven days something of that sort which gives us like the whole first weekend to do fun adventure stuff and to kind of take a break from school work life yada 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 and then we're gonna work remotely in an airbnb monday through friday and then we fly out saturday afternoon so we literally booked the flight for tomorrow four days ago Monday and now it's like all happening this is like a thing that's happening which is insane to me because I've never booked a flight that spontaneously maybe when I was sitting abroad because it was a little bit easier and I had a little bit less responsibilities and you could just fly anywhere on the weekends when you didn't have school possibly when I was abroad but definitely never in my adult life have I bought a ticket this spontaneously with only like a four day advance notice but it all worked out like I said we're staying in the hotel the first night because we get in so late then we're going to take an uber back to the airport to get a rental car and then we're going to stay in an airbnb for the next six days after that I guess it would be seven days after that something of that sort and we're going to be working remotely there's only an hour time difference between New York and Puerto Rico and my boyfriend and I both work on east coast time so I think in Puerto Rico we'll be working 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. instead of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. which works out a little bit better too because we also we can like do stuff in the morning like go for walks or we can sleep in or go get breakfast or something of that sort so it's really nice I am so excited for this break I need it for my mental sanity like my physical health i just need the warm weather i need to get out of the city i need to take a break from everything i really i really do which sounds so dramatic and i'm not trying to make it sound dramatic but sometimes you just need a break and i personally really need a break i haven't been on like a vacation vacation in since august i think i've definitely been home to virginia but i don't really count that as vacation because i'm just going home like i don't know what's home you know what i mean so we're so excited for this and I am just hoping like everything works out the way that we planned it. We are expected to get a snowstorm later tonight into tomorrow so we're both keeping our fingers crossed and knock on wood that our flight does not get delayed tomorrow or cancelled. Um, but if anything I guess we would just fly out Saturday so it wouldn't be that big of a deal but we're just, we want to be on the plane, we want to be in Puerto Rico, we want to just be spontaneous, be with each other, hang out and kind of vibe for the week so that's the plan that's how this whole thing came about if you think I'm crazy um I don't blame you because I feel a little bit crazy but at the same time like I said we're only 24 25 once and we right now don't have many responsibilities no kids no pets we can work anywhere we want so we just want to be spontaneous this one time and have fun so that's how this whole thing happened but like I said this is going to be a little packing video prepping video because today's Thursday and I've been making a packing list pretty much all week but I waited until today to start packing because I wanted to go to Target last night and get a bunch of things and I needed to do laundry and stuff like that so now that laundry is done I got everything that I needed from Target I can actually sit down and pack today and go through my list that's what I'm going to do with you guys and kind of take you guys through my packing routine. I have it pretty down pat because I'm a big travel gal. I absolutely love traveling and if you guys have seen any of my other travel vlogs or packing videos you guys know that this is like my thing. If there's one thing I could do with my life and just get away with it would be to literally quit my 9 to 5 job and just travel the world for the rest of my life. I would do it in a heartbeat so um, this is kind of my thing. <laughs> I have a pretty similar packing routine to the previous vlogs that you guys have seen but for those of you guys that are new around here or those of you guys that just like to see it, I like to watch packing videos and travel vlogs. This is for you. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you are new around here, you should stick around and subscribe. I make a lot of lifestyle content. Like I said, I live in New York City, so I have a lot of New York vlogs. When I travel, which is pretty often, I make travel vlogs and packing videos and things of that sort. So you guys should stick around and subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up before we 
get started. I guess it's already been started because this was literally like a 10 minute intro and I apologize for that, but give it a thumbs up nonetheless. So now for the whole packing portion of this video. Didn't buy much when I went to Target yesterday, literally just this group of things because I had a lot of the stuff that I already needed. So I just picked up extra things like tampons. We love that <laughs> makeup wipes. And then I needed dry shampoo for the trip. But all this stuff I already had, I've been just kind of trying to find things over the last few days and put them out so that I don't forget it. So I already had a bunch of bug spray and sunscreen. I literally just forgot the word for sunscreen there for a second. Sunscreen from our trip to Costa Rica and just from the summer and stuff like that. So I have that there. I'm going to bring two COVID tests just in case. I mean, we are still in a pandemic and I think it's smart to be super safe. I'm also getting a COVID test at a urgent care later tonight because you don't technically need one if you're vaccinated, but we want to just be safe. So I'm going to go get a rapid test a little bit later. I'll bring you guys along with me for that. Found some sunglasses, my vitamins, my seed vitamins, Motrin, razor, birth control, all that sort. So I've just been trying to put everything on the counter so that I don't forget it. I'm also adding this all to my packing list, which I'll show you guys in a second so that I know that I'm not forgetting anything. So here's the packing list that I've been talking about, and this is something that I've come up with over the last couple of days. Just as I think of things, I add it to the list. This is not like the final list of everything that I'm bringing. It's just things I think of that I definitely want to bring or need to bring. As they come into my head, I just write them down so I don't forget it. So I am not going to sit here and read off this whole thing because it is super long, but I have things on here like sunscreen, how many hoodies I want to bring, how many sets of pajamas I want to bring, my laptop, my work laptop, blue light glasses, vitamins, shoes, bikinis, some of the specific clothing items that I would want to bring, shoes that I would want to bring, so on and so forth. So I just, as I thought of things, I wrote it down on the list list and when I actually go to pack my suitcase, which we're going to do in a second, I'm going to cross it off as I go so that I just know that I have it laid out and then I'm going to actually bring the whole thing with me. It's a lot later. I had to do some stuff from work, so I kind of put off packing to the side. But now I need to get back to it because I want to make sure that I have everything before tomorrow. And if not, then I need to run some last minute errands and stuff like that. So now I'm actually going to go through this packing list and start packing things. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with clothes because my work laptop, laptop, blue light glasses and stuff like that I'm going to actually need for tomorrow, like work tomorrow, school work, stuff like that. So I'm going to make two different packing lists. This will be my main packing list where I put all the stuff into my suitcase and then I'm gonna make a last minute packing list like I do every single time I go on a trip, which is basically just stuff that I need to grab the day that I'm leaving or like an hour before I leave. So that typically consists of like my toothbrush, toothpaste, medicine, face wash, shoes, chargers, computers, stuff like that. So this will be the main packing list, but I'm also gonna make one for tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this and then start crossing stuff off. I'm gonna go through my dresser now and lay everything out of my bed which is why I kept my bed super clean and clear because I like to be able to visually see everything and like be able to cross it off my list. Again, sorry for the lighting. This is the current lineup. Pretty much everything from my packing list. I still actually have like a lot of things missing, but a lot of things are also gonna go in my backpack with me on the plane. Just in case I lose my luggage, knock on wood, but you know, I'm gonna keep medicine, sunglasses, electronics, stuff like that with me. So clothes-wise and 
bigger beauty products and sunscreen wise this is all the stuff that's going to go in the check bag underneath the plane though so i'll go through it with you guys really quickly and just kind of walk you guys through how i planned out outfits and stuff of that sort so these are all my matching workout sets i knew i wanted to bring at least two set active sets and then this is a little biker short and sports bra set from amazon these are a bunch of miscellaneous sets so they're not matching but they're two Lululemon biker shorts with two t-shirts and then some Nike shorts in here as well. I anticipate the fact that we probably are not going to be doing anything super fancy all week. Like I said, we're going to be there to mainly work and just hang out and go to the beach and go on hikes and stuff like that. So the majority of my outfits are pretty casual, but I did bring some nicer things just in case we like want to go to San Juan or out to dinner or something of that sort. So I brought two pairs of jean shorts and two tops this is my skims tank top this is a short sleeve from princess polly then i have some nicer linen style shorts with two tank tops i have two dresses two beach cover-up shirts and then i have a stack of holder weather stuff so i have a pair of lululemon leggings a long sleeve shirt jeans a sweatshirt a crew neck just in case it gets cold or at night pajamas underwear socks bikinis and then above here is all of like my toiletry stuff so we have the stuff I showed you earlier from Target, then we have the sunscreen, I brought a COVID test just in case, a pack of masks. I'm going to wear an N95 on the plane, so I'm bringing the reusable masks that I'm going to be wearing actually in Puerto Rico. I'm just going to check it because it's in like a big plastic bag, so I don't want to take up room in my actual backpack. We have a curling iron, and then I've shared this before, but I'll also have a link down below. This is like one of my favorite travel purchases to date. It has saved my butt so many times and I brought it on so many trips. It's just like a little toiletry bag that you can actually hang on the back of a door or hang on a hook in a bathroom. And it literally fits everything that I could possibly need for a trip. So I'm going to put all of my shampoo and conditioner and shower stuff here. I put face wash, lotion, toothbrush, toothpaste, serum, stuff like that up here. I have two travel size, what are these called? Sunscreen. Why do I keep forgetting the word for sunscreen? I don't know why. And then... I have Q-tips, band-aids, hair ties, stuff like that down below. Like I said, to this date, probably one of my best travel purchases. It was not that expensive, and like I said, it's from Amazon, so it came pretty fast. I'm going to have a link down below. I swear by it, and I know I've shared it in a few other packing vlogs, and it's just continuing to wow me. And the fact that I found it, and it's like held up, and I've been on so many trips with it um, is amazing. So I'm going to have this link down below. So my next step is going to be to double-check this list cross a lot of things off, and then I'm going to start moving all of this into my suitcase. Please ignore the massive scratch. I have an away suitcase from away. Obviously, this is the one that you can check. It's not a carry-on bag. I got it in white. It was a gift. I don't even think they sell white anymore because this thing gets so dirty so fast. Overall, I love like the structure of it and the inside of it. Let me show you guys really quickly. I like the way that it's set up, that I can close that compartment and then... There's like a little divider with pockets and then I can close this compartment as well so you can divide the two halves. It's really nice when you're coming back from a trip and you have dirty laundry on one side and clean laundry on the other so that you can just put away one side and throw the other one into the laundry basket. In my opinion, like one of my favorite aspects. I love it. I definitely think it would be worth the money, but if they sell white, don't get white because it got so dirty so fast. I would definitely get like a different color like green or blue or something if I were to get a carry-on or like an away suitcase in the future. White is not the move, although it is very aesthetic looking. This is finished for the most part. I have, I did not mean to throw that like that. <laughs> Ignore that I just did that. This has all my clothes. On this side, we have sunscreen, underwear, socks, curling iron, dry shampoo, COVID test in this section. And then this has miscellaneous items. I have all my shoes on this side. I have masks, tampons, makeup, and then I have my little 
toiletry case. I still need to put stuff in the toiletry case, like shampoo and conditioner, toothbrush, and all that stuff, but I need it for tonight and tomorrow. So I'm just putting it in here, honestly, to get it out of the way for a minute, but I'm not entirely finished with this section. But this is the progress we've made so far. Next up, I'm going to take everything that needs to belong in my backpack and put it on that table over there so that I know to put it in my backpack. I have a few things charging. I need a few things for tomorrow, so that's not going to get entirely packed either. But I just want to start checking some things off the list and putting things in the backpack for now so I know like what I have and what I need. But that's where that second packing list comes into play. All the stuff that I can't pack tonight or tomorrow morning, I'm going to put on that list so that I can grab it an hour or two before I end up packing my bag officially and like locking it and putting everything like that for the flight. So that's kind of like where that packing list comes into play. But I am going to pack as much as I possibly can right now so that I don't have as much to pack tomorrow because I have a fear of forgetting things. Even though I overpack a lot. I also feel like I still will end up forgetting at least something, so that's why I'm like really adamant about two packing lists and like going through and checking everything off so that I don't forget anything, and if I do, it's probably because it wasn't on the list and it just slipped my mind, but I tried to like avoid that whole situation because it stresses me out. Okay, I didn't show me packing my backpack because I honestly didn't have much to put in there yet other than some snacks a purse and like a bunch of other random stuff like Clorox wipes and Purell. But I went ahead and made my list for tomorrow morning, so this is what it looks like. These are things that I need to grab in, either in the morning or right before I head out the door, such as my laptops, AirPods, birth control, phone charger, vlog camera, gold jewelry, shampoo and conditioner, toothbrush, deodorant, hairbrush. As I think of things, because I'm sure I forgot something, I'll also add it to the list so that I know to grab it. But this is what I mean by like my second packing list or my quick list. I would highly recommend making one of these so that you don't forget anything. Another random travel tip that I have is to always carry an empty water bottle. So obviously I can't fill this with water and bring it through security because you can't bring liquids through security in an airport. But... This saves me when I'm traveling because I can then fill it up when I get there and just continue to fill up my Yeti. One, saves the environment because you're using less plastic water bottles, obviously. But two, I just feel like it also helps me drink more water when I'm traveling. And it's really easy to get dehydrated when you're traveling because you're not thinking about your water intake as much because you're so busy doing other things. Pro tip is just to bring a reusable water bottle with you. I chose the Yeti because my Yeti is like my favorite thing ever. But if you have a hydro flask, that will work too. Or if you have like one of the ones from Amazon. Now that I've done the non-fun part of packing, now comes the fun part of picking which book I'm going to read on vacation. I bought two different books for the occasion just based off of what I was feeling. I definitely have other books here that I haven't read yet. But I was in two different moods yesterday. One, I was thinking beach read could be fun and flirty because... I'm gonna be on the beach, it'll be warm, tropical, and I feel like this is like the perfect book for that situation. But then I was also feeling something a little bit more magical, Harry Potter vibes was what I was looking for. I literally googled books similar to Harry Potter and then this was one of the recommended ones and I read the description and the reviews and it looks really good. So I was like on two different vibes yesterday and I don't know which one I wanna bring with me. I'm tempted to say this one because I feel like if I don't read it now, I probably won't read it again until the summer because I just feel like it's a book that you need to read when the weather's warm and not when it's like cold and dreary outside. But I'm also just really in the mood for like a good old fashioned magic. But it's like the genre of this. I don't know the genre of this, but you know what I mean? Like Harry Potter vibe type book. I don't know what to pick. I'm going to reread the description of them and then probably do like eeny meeny miny mo and then just like decide because they both sound really good. It's a lot later. My hair is wet, not greasy. I promise I just got out of the shower and did a little self tan moment. Before that, I went and got a COVID test rapid. I'm negative. Thankfully, that was stressing me out a little bit just because I didn't think that I was positive by any means. Like I don't have any of the symptoms, but I just feel like this variant, this new variant especially, is so sneaky and you just never know if you actually have it or not. So honestly, I should get tested more regularly than I actually do, but Thankfully, I'm negative and we're all set to head out tomorrow. I would have been really sad if I was positive and had to stay back. That would have been like very depressing, honestly. But thankfully, we're not. It's been such a long day and such a long day of packing and I still have a few more things to pack tomorrow. I'm also working tomorrow and then we're leaving after work at like 8 p.m. And we're flying out of Newark, which is kind of a hike from the city if you guys are from new york you know it's kind of a pain to get to new york and especially uber wise because we're gonna have to uber instead of taking the train so it's just like a whole thing and it's a little bit annoying but it was the cheapest airport to fly out of for puerto rico so we just got to kind of suck it up so that's on the agenda for tomorrow 
and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end it off vlog here i hope you guys enjoy stay tuned for the puerto rico the actual puerto rico travel vlogs i'm not sure how i'm gonna split it up yet there will probably and most likely be multiple vlogs that come out of the trip such as a part one and part two or a weekend vlog and a week in my life vlog. i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do it yet but stay tuned for that so you should subscribe down below if you're not subscribed already so that you guys can watch the puerto rico vlog as soon as they're up or watch any of my other videos so yeah thank you guys again for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye.